Hi, it's Rob D'Amico from Big Green Egg. Today we're going to be talking about direct and indirect cooking and the products you may need or don't need while doing those types of methods of cooking on your Big Green Egg. But first, I want you to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on social media at Big Green Egg. All right, to get started today, we're gonna to be talking about direct cooking first because the way your grill is set up when you get it with the cooking grid inside and the charcoal right underneath it, that is direct cooking. That is the way you're gonna cook hot and fast, whether it's steaks, you're searing steaks at a high temp, you're doing chops, uh, vegetables, burgers, you can do all that stuff directly. Even wings, if you like to go hot and fast, you can do that. That's what direct cooking is. So I'm gonna show you what you need for direct cooking, different ways you can do this. Again, one of them is just your cooking grid in here directly over the heat on the charcoal and the fire. That is live fire cooking directly over the coals. Now, you can do a couple things. You can take out your grid and I'm gonna show you here a couple of products. One of them's going to be convector basket. And you can see here that it basically is a convector basket holding the convector in there, but right now we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the different ways you can use it with the grids that we have. One of them being, here's the convector basket here. Here's the current grid you've already had on your big green egg. One, you can set it right on top, conveniently hold it, put it in your egg, and now it raises your grid, but you're still doing direct cooking. You can also use the same grid I'm sorry, you can also use the same basket with our half moon grids and place that in here and you're co cooking directly down on the coals, but you also have the convenience of getting this in and out whenever you want to. The good thing about these, not only do they work down here, but they work up top as well. So you can do it both ways. If you have two of them, there's your cooking grid. Or if you wanna cook some vegetables direct up here and you wanna go hot, down here with uh, some steaks, you can do that as well. So that is some of the options here you have with the convector basket. Great stuff there. Other ways to go direct is with our, right here, this is the two-piece multi-level rack. And this, you can see, goes, connects basically right on top here. I'm gonna show you that real quick here as well. Let's get here behind me. And you can see it goes right on top. Everything fits together, whether you have the half moon grids or you have your original grid, this sits up there as well. Again, this is all direct, it's okay. That's not what I'm showing you here today. But I'm gonna show you with this. As you heard of cowboy and caveman style. Caveman style, what that does is it goes directly into the coals. Another way of cooking direct in the coals on the fire. You put it right in there. You just drop a tomahawk, steaks like that. You just put it right in there and you cook it. The other way you can do that is called cowboy. This comes off, you flip this over, set it in your egg, put the grid in here like that, and you're directly over the coals further down in the grill, giving you more heat and more direct uh, heat source for cooking direct. Again, in the coals, it's called caveman. Out of the coals, sitting on top like this, it's called cowboy style. All right, now that we're done with our direct cooking, I'm gonna show you a method that does both versions at the same time. We're gonna go back to our convector basket here. We got a half moon stainless steel grid on one side, and we're gonna use this half moon baking stone on the other side. So now we're going direct and indirect at the same exact time. Let me show you how that's done. Half moon stone, stick it in there like that. Now you got one side that's indirect, one side direct. And again, conveniently be able to bring that into your egg just like this. So now you can cook on one side and you can do another side like this and cook above it so you have your direct side where you're cooking your steaks and maybe doing vegetables and potatoes right here as well. All right, now that I've shown you both the ways to do this, direct and indirect, I'm gonna show you indirect cooking, which then gives you the opportunity to block that heat source a little bit 
and create a convection oven. So you can do your hams, your turkeys, your rib roasts, things like that, that you're roasting on the egg. And you can also go low and slow, low temperatures, longer cooks, like your briskets, your ribs, your pulled porks, pork butts, things like that. So let me show you how to do that. What you need for that, first things first, is this, a convector. And that is your heat source, blocking your heat source. It's also called the plate setter back in the day for the guys who are a little old school, but I'm gonna show you how to set that up as well. Got one right here. And you can see that it sits right in the convector basket. I always put the two up in the front and the one right here in case you're, when you're burping an egg, sometimes flames can come up. This helps block that when it's in front of you. I'm gonna show you that. Put it in the egg again. Two to the back, one to the front, and this is simple. Again, uses your same grid, gives you a raised cooking grid. You can see that now we're indirect. This is great for roasting. You could put a rib rack on here, put some ribs in there. You can do your rib roast, your turkeys, all that great stuff. That's that style of cooking right there. So this is one way you can do that. The other way you can do that is when I showed you with these half moons, you can do half moon on one side, half moon on the other side, blocking the entire thing. And that's also gonna be a way you can do using the convector basket to do indirect cooking. What's great with indirect cooking, if you have this sitting there and then you put a pizza stone on top, you can do pizzas right here on your egg. And I think I might have one right here below me. And I do. You can see the pizza stone goes right here on top you can cook your pizza directly on your egg. So some great resources when looking to do indirect and direct cooking. The other part of this is it does come in a five piece. This product or just one of these products on here changes the egg dramatically, whether you're going direct or indirect when cooking on your egg. All right, those are the different methods, whether you're using direct or indirect cooking. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Big Green Egg. I'm Rob D'Amico. Thank you for watching.